Welcome back to Anglesey for another of our shootouts. And this week, we've got a real boardroom battle on our hands. The Mercedes CLS 55 AMG, 476 horsepower and quicker than a Porsche 911 to 60. At 70,000 pounds, it's eight grand more than this. The Jaguar XJR, with only 400 horsepower. It seems the Mercs got it in the bag. But then the Jags got less weight, being a full 250 kilos lighter. So the two cars' power-to-weight ratios are remarkably similar. But which is quickest? I know it feels like this shape of Jaguar saloon has been with us for about half a century, but this latest XJ series has only actually been with us for two years, and this, their pride and joy, the XJR, has only been out for one with its supercharged 4.2 litre engine. And I can assure you this 400 horsepower is quite a handful when let loose around this tight Anglesey circuit. Whoa, and there's smoke firing out of the back of the car as the inside wheel spins away. Wonderful Jaguar pedigree, but it's all a bit too soft and rolly to have a letter R for racing behind it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but, but despite all its wildness, this Jaguar has got one important trick up its sleeve, and that is for its size, it's a very light car. They've extensively used aluminium alloys in the chassis building. They've got aluminium bodywork. And so it weighs just over one and a half tons. This is its little pièce de résistance. Time to try and keep it neat and tidy to set a quick lap time. The Jag sets a target of 54.98 seconds. And so to the Mercedes, and the question, can power beat weight? Because we now have a car that weighs nearly two tonnes. Compared to the Jaguar, it's like I've got three passengers sitting beside me and behind me. But with a 5.4 litre supercharged engine, we've also got a lot more power. Now, whilst I've always been a, an admirer of AMG tuned Mercedes, I've never been a big admirer of Mercedes styling, but this is my kind of Mercedes. Of course, they call it a coupe, but it's still a, a four-door saloon in all intents and purpose, and a very, very stylish one at that. And I think they've also, at the same time, firmed up the chassis somewhere. They've given the steering more feel. We've still got the computer interruption. We still, even though we got the ESP switched off, we can't get rid of it all. And yet they haven't really left that much on. I've still got plenty of opposite lock to use. And it's only interrupting when I really get into a horrible state. There, there, it's cutting me now. The power's gone. But if I drive it just a little bit below lunacy level, I've got plenty of grunt and plenty of smoke coming out of the rear, just like the Jag. And the brakes are fading, so I think it's time to go for that lap time. By radar, the mighty Merc is already nearly a second ahead. A lead which it maintains down to the hairpin. Finally beating the Jagger across the line by 1.17 seconds. Now entering that, those times into my shootout list, starting with a Jaguar... We find it plummets onto the second page, that right down in 23rd place, sandwiched between a Seat Leon and a Mini Cooper. I mean, it was so... Um, we say it was a lightweight sleeve, it's a lightweight executive sleeve, but in terms of track cars, it's still heavy. And what was it, a handful? It, it just looked rubbish. It I looked know. so shoddy. You did an exceptionally well as well, so you can get a <laughs> A time. You know, obviously, for those shootout times, you do half a dozen laps, trying to keep it neat and tidy, not too sideways, not too out of control. But I couldn't get a clean lap. I mean, I kept on <laughs> getting halfway around, oh, big sideways, and bought that lap, went for another one, and eventually so set that lap time. If you have a look at that, Tiff, I can't believe it's below an X5. Oh, gosh, it is too. Off. It's slower than a big four by four. Right, then put in the Mercedes time. That was the... CLS 55 AMG. G, and its time was... 54.98 seconds. 
lovely 4.98. We enter that. Still goes quite a long way down. It's uh, but more respectably behind the Audi, just ahead of the Ford Fiesta ST, which again just goes to show really big executive sleeves aren't going to be quick around a racetrack. But it is a lot quicker than that Jag. But that Merc as well, it just looked like it handled an awful lot better. It was much sturdier, much sort of flatter. It's a joy to drive. It looked like a proper car. Yeah. Where's the Jag? It looked like a dog's, didn't it? It was just awful. I, I just cannot understand how some engineer has been round and round the track honing that car to perfection and he's gone, yep, we'll sign it off and send it to market. It's and rubbish. To give it an R badge, well, to make it a bit yeah. special. I mean, it's eight and a half grand less expensive than the Merc. But it's, that does not justify poor yeah. handling. If it was just an executive saloon, fair enough, it shouldn't be good on the track. But, you know, put an R on it, it should be something special. And that Jag wasn't to the Merc wins, whichever way you look at it.